Hey everybody, welcome to my studio today. Today I'm going to do the requested waterfall tutorial. Um, and I decided instead of just doing one, I decided I'm going to be ambitious and try to do three. Three different types of waterfalls today. So I've got them all laid out here and I've written down some instructions. I don't know where to sit this. I guess I'll set it over here. And I've written some instructions so that we can, you guys can hopefully follow along with what I'm doing. I've already pre-cut everything. Um, you know what? This is the standard one. This is the one that I did. I'll move my hand so you guys can read it. Um, this is the one I did with the butterflies um, in my other um, video that you guys requested this one then. Okay, so I've changed this one slightly. So the measurements, um, just adapt them for whatever size that you're wanting or whatever back piece. Okay, so these are slightly different than the butterflies because the butterflies I only did four of the cards instead of six and I made them slightly bigger than I think I did four by fives or something like that four by sixes something like that um, but this time I'm just going to do the three by five cards so also I realized my black mat you might not be able to see this so I should probably try to bring over here we go I'll just grab this white piece of paper and to assemble it on. Okay, so the first thing is you're going to need a piece of your back piece, okay? This piece can either be um, your actual journal page or you can assemble it like I am and then glue it onto your journal page. Um, or you could just have it as a standalone card. You can even have this as, um, make it into an actual card. For this, I just, did this piece um, separate floater kind of piece okay so this measures eight and a half by six and a half okay and whatever like I said whatever size fits your project hopefully you guys can see this let me let me put it right here so you can um, look at that for a second and then I I'll move it back over here so I can read it okay the next one is you need six in this project six of these in my other one like i said i did four so we're going to do six of these cards i just alternated them so it'd be easier to see these the reason why i chose these is because they are double sided so i don't have to decorate the backs of them these measure three inches tall by five inches wide and you can see already on the back piece that there's going to be this overhang and that's where this next piece comes in. This is going to be my long strip that these will be glued onto. And this in measures, well, it's slightly bigger than what, it, as long as it's at least as tall as your back panel, which is eight and a half um, in this case, I just went ahead and just grabbed a piece and made it five inches wide. So this needs to be as wide as your cards. So, see, so that your cards will line up right on it. Um, I'm starting off as long as it's longer too, as long as your back piece or longer than your back piece is what this needs. And we'll cut it off at the end um, because I can already tell there's going to be an excess. And then you need one strip here that's one inches um, tall by six inches wide. And it's just going to fit right like that. And then this piece will be like my waterfall and this piece will be the pull tab. See, like that. All right, so in this you need, I'm going to grab my score um, this way, sorry, I put it upside down. And I am going to take this long sheet, this one here, and I am going to score half inches. Okay, so you make as many score lines as you have cards, as you have cards. Um, let me just bring over the waterfall one real quick. This one is the one I was referencing. See, I only have one, two, three, four. So whenever I scored, I only scored, as you can see in the back, I only scored uh, four of these. And this one was a half inch. Um, the same as so i just kept the same measurements but i just did um slightly different sorry so i was trying to get you baby to, 
guys to see. Um, there we go. So let me put that back over here, sorry. Okay, so I'm just going to score um, yeah, half inch increments. So I have six cards, so I'm just going to make six score lines. Every half inch. So half, one, one and a half, two, two and a half, and three. Say so one, two, three, four, five, six. So that gives me six score lines, which is how many cards I have. Okay, so now I'm going to move this off to the side and there it is i'm going to use my bone folder i'm just going to score this and burnish it down for each each one of these I'm just going to fold it like this and One more. Okay, just like that. Okay, now for each have the half inch score line folds, I'm going to bend it like this. And I am going to, um, at this point, you can use glue or you can use um, double sided tape. Um, either way works right here. For this one, I'm going to go ahead and just use glue. And I'm just going to add, grab a card, grab one of the cards. It doesn't matter what order I have them in, so I think I'm just going to start with the top one. And I'm going to take this first line right here. Can you guys see that first one? I'm just going to line the card up like this onto it. Now the important thing is make sure your glue is unclogged. This is clogged, I'll just reach for a different glue. Sorry guys, my glue was clogged, so I'm just going to grab my Fabri-Tac. I'm not gonna take the time to unclog that. I'm just gonna add some glue. And line this up. Like I said, the important thing is to line it up on the edges of here and here that's really where you're gonna and of course lining it up here and here um, looks like i'm a little off on that there we go just i may have to cut that the edge down on the back when i'm done so i'm going to pick an edge i'm just going to line it up on this edge here probably whenever i folded those it got off a little bit okay now we're just going to move on to the next panel this actually goes really quickly and i'm just going to line it up again edges on top and bottom like i said i'm just making sure that it's on this edge because i can always come down and trim that side Now, if, if this back black piece matched the rest of your um, cards, you could always, um, it wouldn't matter if you can see them or not. So you do not have to use, um, start off with decorative paper. You could just do cardstock and then come back and add your images after everything is assembled. Okay. And I'm going to do... Thank you. 
my counting. I was thinking I forgot one, but I didn't. Sorry. And the last card. Just making sure it's lined up up at the top. Okay, now we're going to take this and we're just going to apply it here. And okay, now I'm going to take and just cut off an inch from the bottom of this. Um, actually, this is an inch. Yeah. Yeah, and cut off an inch off the bottom of this. This is an inch. I meant, I meant I was leaving an inch, sorry. So, because that's actually an inch and a half. So, I took an inch and a half off. And you might not need to. If you had used the same size as this, you probably don't even need to take off that much. Okay. So, now. We're going to take this, the strip here. We're going to flip up our, flip these up. That wasn't supposed to be glued down. Now you can also put an image right here if you want, because it will be pulled down and you'll be able to see this piece. So I'm going to position this about where I want it. Like about there, about there and about there, sorry. I'm going to flip this, I'm going to try to go like this and line this up with the bottom card. See the bottom card? I'm just lining up the edge with the bottom and about the same side there and there. Um, now here you can glue this, you can staple it, um, you can add a brad, you can add an eyelet, whatever you want to do right there. I am going to uh, punch a hole and do a brad. I haven't done a brad. Uh, just going to get out this small one. I'm kind of thinking I'm a little off center. That's okay. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to try and just pick this up and do it. Do it by hand. Let's see. I'm just oh, does this not fit in there? I'm just going to drop a brad right in there. Oh dear! I literally dropped the brad. Uh, that'll hold it in place while I come over here and do this side. And let it go this time. The other side's holding up. Okay, so now I have, I have this um, with the brads. And then this panel slides right in, just like that. Okay. Now, put that off to the side, sorry. Okay, so now we're going to take some more glue, and we're going to add it to this strip. 
right here. So kind of align it in the middle so that the waterfall will be in the middle. And then just kind of put your strip, your glue right here in the middle of it. You just want it on the strip. And like I said, you can put your image right here um, so that um, whenever you pull this and you can see that my edge is off right here. So I would normally trim that up. But... And then we're just going to take this last card right here, this very last one, and we are going to align it. Align everything back up and glue it right onto that strip like that. I'm a little off, I think. I am. Let me fix. Let me fix it. There we go. Yeah. Now it's straight. Just go. We're going to set. So now you can decorate down here. You can add a pull tab. Um, you can just grab a hold of it and pull it, and everything flips. Now is a good time to burnish this so that each one of these lays flat. You can put sentiment, you can put tea stain paper in here, um, make them writing spots. You can put your images so you can have it for your photos. Whatever you want to put on there. Okay, there we go. Okay, next time I would trim this before gluing down. That would be my suggestion, but the, that one is all done. So now this whole panel, you can just glue the whole panel into onto your journal, or like I said, this could be the front of a card, it could be the inside of a card even. And then you just grab a hold and pull. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Hopefully it'll be a little easier for me. I'm gonna move this white piece. Okay, so this next one um, is an alternative waterfall. Okay, so these are the measurements for that. You need your card layer, your back piece. Um, mine is going to be four by, um, it's four by five and a quarter. Uh, you need one strip that is, excuse me, one inch by five and a half. And we will score that. Wait, is this one? I'm sorry. This is the one inch by five and a half inches. I'm like, that one's way too long. It's this one. See, it's the same size. So it's one inch, almost the same size, by one, five and a half inches. And then we need four cards. Sorry. And these are all going to be different sizes. This is why it's an alternative. Instead of all being the same size, these ones are all going to be um, different sizes on our card. Okay. And then we have our pool. This is our pool. Okay, so we'll do that in a minute too. Okay, so I'm going to set all these aside. Uh, hopefully you guys can see the picture for a minute. Well, I grab my score. Okay, I'm going to set this off to the side. I'm just going to grab my score. There we go. All right, so you take your, um, the one inch strip, which I just, there it is. Sorry, you take this in and you score it at three fourths on each side, on each end. So three fourths, and I'm gonna flip it and do three fourths again. Okay, just like that. I sh should have did all my score marks at the same time. Okay, just like that. And then we're gonna take the pool and we are going to score this one at one and three fourths. And then we're going to score it at two and a half. And then we're going to score it at three and a quarter. And then we are going to score it again at four. Okay. Um, so then it looks like this. You have these four or yeah, four score marks in it. Okay, now we are going, I think it was all the scoring right? Yes. I'm looking over the directions. Sorry. So I can set this aside. Okay. Put 
Now we are going to. There we go. Um, let's see. Okay, so now we are going to take this. And I am going to add my double-sided tape on this one. I just thought it would be easier. It may not be, but we're going to add it right here. I need something to cut this with. And another piece on the other side. Like that. I picked up some hair somewhere. Some fuzzies. Okay, and I'm going to cut the tape. Okay. I don't know where I got that fuzzy from. Okay, so I'm going to align this. I'm going to align it about halfway. Well, about a half an inch. And this time I'm going to use my stapler. Okay, so it, I've got a, like a half an inch gap there. I didn't measure, but I'm pretty sure it's around a half an inch. And I'm just going to take my staples and staple right here. There we go. And the reason I did this is so that we can peel this off and hide the staple. Just like that. There we go. Now this strip can be decorative or whatever you want it to be. But now my pool will fit down in there just fine. Okay, so now we did that one, and I still, um, now I need to burnish each score line, it says. So, let's see, I'm going to pull that down. And again. Now you could decorate here if you wanted to. Um, I bought, brought this out. I thought we would use it to decorate the bottom. I'm just going, I'm going to punch it up here because it's going to leave little pieces. So I don't want those little pieces to get all over my deck. I think that's aligned. Oh, it's kind of cute. Not quite what I was thinking, but it works. I need to punch those out, I guess have to punch them out by hand but anyways it's still kind of decorative see kind of like that I might cut this piece here and here off which is probably what I was supposed to do but you can decorate it with any punches that you want actually or you could leave it like we did on the last one you can do that too um, okay so now we are going to um, we're going to align it so that the long edge which is this piece the long edge um, is under the strip like this um, and we are going to apply some tape to the top edge of the pole up here we're just going to put a little tiny bit of double-sided tape right there should have already had this on here Let me, I'm going to align it so that it's right there along that top edge just like that and then trim it off because I got too much okay. so I'm gonna put this back in here and pull this okay now we're going to So we're going to align this so that it's in the center between these two. 
and uh, lines across the bottom right here on this strip so that whenever you pull it it just pulls down okay I really think I needed to burnish those better okay there we go all right now now we're going to um, put the cards in. We're going to start with our shortest card. I'm done with that. So I am going to apply some double-sided tape real quick. You don't have to use double-sided tape as I showed you in the last one. You can use glue. But I am just going to apply some double-sided tape to each one of these. Oops, tape come off on that one. I'm going to get a new piece of that one. That one came off, so. Okay. All right, so I got the, all those st three strips. Now I am going to apply it here. And here. them all off okay so now we're going to start with the bottom card first so i'm going to peel all this off this i'm just going to start right here i'm going to line it up with the bottom edge and try to get it in the middle that's our first card okay and then our next size up will be here so let me pull the tape off. Okay, this one's upside down. I'm just going to align it with this one first and then put it down. That way I know I'm aligning it correctly. So I aligned it down here at the bottom first. Okay. and then this one okay so then I'm just going to add this piece lining up the edges lining it up to the top there hopefully it's remained in the middle peel off this piece here and add my cover please oops missed try that again there we go just gonna push them all down okay now whenever we pull it there we go I'm just gonna burnish them all down like we did the last one makes it easier for them to slide um, again you can add whatever you want here you can add photos, you can add um, uh, text, you can add little note cards, whatever you want. Okay, sorry about that. Get that one finished down. Okay, and again, you can put this on the front of a card, you can put this in your junk journals, you can do whatever you want with it, and it just uh, flips. Like that nice and pretty and it does go back up oh, the tape got in my way now for number three okay so starting on the double waterfall the scrapbook paper i was using must have been old or it just doesn't bend well i'm not sure but every time i would crease it it would and score it it would just crack and peel so it was not good so i'm having to redo that so this is the double waterfall okay so these are the instructions for it so hopefully you can capture that or whatever you guys do. And then um, I'm going to start, I'm um, just going to set that aside so that you, I can show you the pieces. So the first things you're going to need is the two and three eighths by two and three eighths squares. So you just need some squares. Then you need the big squares. 
which are 4 and 7 eighths. There's two of them by 4 and 7 eighths. This will be your back and your cover. And then you're going to need a long strip that's 10, 9 and 7 eighths by 2 and 3 eighths. And then you're going to need a smaller strip, which is 6 and 3 eighths by 2 and 3 eighths. And then you're going to need um, an even smaller piece that's 5 and 1 eighth by 3 eighths. But I think I changed this one and just made it um, half an inch. Instead of doing the 3 eighths, I just made it a half inch. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is score these two pieces, the longer strips. They actually have to get scored. So I'm going to move my scoreboard over here. I'll try to leave as much of that paper as I can for you guys to watch. Okay, so we're going to start with the smaller one, which is less scores. So we're going to score it. Sorry, make sure it's pushed down. So I'm going to score it, beginning score line at 7 eighths. And then we're going to move to 1 and a quarter. And then 1 and 5 eighths. And then we're going to do 2. 2 and 3 eighths. And then 2 and 3 fourths. Then we're going to rotate the piece around to the back, to the, the side again, and just do 7 eighths again. So you have 7 eighths on both sides, as you can see. And then you have basically, oops, I almost got that one. That one didn't go all the way through. Got it. Okay, fix that. And then basically you have a little, little over a quarter. Uh, like three eighths of an inch for each one of these. Okay. Um, and then we're going to do our long piece and get it ready. Okay. So our long piece, we're actually going to start off with a pencil mark instead of a score. So I'm going to mark it at two, the pencil. Like that. Set that aside. Then we're going to score at two and three eighths. Make sure it goes all the way through this time. Two and three fourths. Three and one eighths. Three and a half. Three and seven eighths. And then four and a quarter. Then we're going to rotate it just like we did that other piece and we're going to score it at seven eighths. So there we go. There we have it. Okay, all the scoring is now done. I'll put that up. You can also score with um, the score tool and a ruler. You could have marked this major ruler across there here like this and done um, that way. In case you needed to have another tip. Okay. So now we are going to take um, this piece and let's see, we are going to start here with this, this panel. I'm just going to grab some glue and some of our squares and we are going to glue between this pencil mark and the first score line. We're going to add some glue and we're just going to lay our card right over top of it, kind of lining it up a little bit. Hopefully they're all the right size here. Um, okay, what I learned is actually it's easier if you do it from this side so that you can see where the score line is. Okay, let me do it this way so I can see where the score lines are. There we go. I'm just going to line up the next piece and put it right over top just like that. It does look like I'm off center a little bit, but you can always trim this down a little bit if you need to on the edges. If you're like me and it doesn't always line up perfectly. Okay, I'm just going to keep adding them until we get to this last one.
And the last one. All right. Now. Okay, so now we're just, we've got this. this is what it looks like now. I just, all I did was bend that forward. And we're going to take our strip here. And we're going to open this between this first one that we've glued down and the back piece. We're just going to add some glue right here. And we're going to align this strip right up against the edge like that. I can't see it from that side. I have to flip it over to face me. There, just like that. It doesn't really matter if it's very even on each side. As long as it's on the bottom so it'll be like this okay okay now we're just going to go ahead and burnish each of the squares so that they lay open easier just opening and then taking my um, bone forward push it down. I am off a little bit right here. But if you was using the same collar cardstock, you wouldn't even see that. Um, okay, there we go. That looks good. Okay, so right here you can add an image right here if you choose to or a sentiment because that you whenever this pulls out, you will be able to see part of this. Okay, so then I'm going to fold this over Lay this like this, flip the whole thing over. So close this up, and then I'm going to bend up the flaps. Okay. Grab a hold of it. Right. So you can see why I said this didn't matter about the size of it, really. It can be a little bit longer, it can be a little taller. Then I'm just going to glue those pieces together right there. All right, now we're all done with that piece. Okay, this piece is now ready to go. I'm gonna bend this up. I'm gonna go ahead and burnish this. All right, now we'll set that in the side and we'll grab our next piece. Okay, so we've already done all the for the scoring lines, so we're just gonna fold everything towards the back like this, so that we know that it's basically going to be even with that line in the back. Like that now we are just going to start you, again you can put an image right here if you want to so we're going to put some glue right here again just like I showed you with the other ones you can also use um, the double sided tape I'm trying to line this one up a little straighter than I did my last one Okay, and on the last one, okay, that should, oops, I'm a little off on that last one, okay, that looks good. All right, now we're going to bring over, and again, you can um, add images right there if you want to. Okay, I'm going to bend this one up and score this one. This one will actually be scored this way. Okay. So I'm going to bring over our big square. Okay. And I'm going to bring our piece back that's here. And I am going to add some glue right on that strip that we added. Just like that. I'm going to add it. I'm going to line it, this piece, this bottom edge with the bottom edge of our back panel here. Making sure it's properly aligned and down. Okay. okay. So 
So that piece now goes like this. And push it back in there. Okay. Then this piece, we're going to glue this, up, the top piece up here. We're going to glue it right here upside down. Just see, this is the top of our waterfall. I would glue these in and I'm going to flip it upside down and just glue it down right here along this edge. Just like that. I'm going to lay it down. So I'm pushing everything back up and I'm going to align this piece right there as best I can. Maybe off slightly so I may have to adjust that just a hair. Okay, then I'm going to grab our front cover. So you can add images to both sides of this if you want. I'm going to align it and glue our straps down. Glue our st straps or flaps, not our flaps. I'm going to glue both of them straight down onto, I'm trying to align that. There we go. There we go. Now, I'm sorry about the pen. Let me put the pen in. You know how art glitter glue is. It doesn't like being out. Okay, so now whenever you open it, it's going to open just like this. And then you can put images here and the images here. And then you just push it back together. Like that. And you close it. And you can put a strap right here and tie close it up on your page you can add it to a card you can even turn it and do it so that it comes open this way um, that can actually open to you too. yeah so there we have it okay so now we have all three let me show you all three of them we have this one which was the one that was based on the butterfly one that I originally created. And then we have this one that was um, basically the opposite of this one. So because it's hiding the cards underneath. And it just pulls out. And then we have our third one that we did that I did not decorate, but you can still see the mechanics of very well. And that was it, all three of them. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a blessed day.